Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. This is problem set three of solving right triangles using trig functions. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to present to you a right triangle. I've got two examples here. And you're going to know something about some of the sides and some of the angles. And the idea is to solve the triangle. That means find all three angles and all three sides. So here's some rules here. Um, number one, use the Pythagorean theorem if you know two out of the three sides. And you're looking for the missing third side. Number two, use your trig ratios to find the missing side, and that is these up here. You should know these by now. Soka, toa, sine, cosine, tangent. Or number three, if you're looking for a missing angle, use the inverse sine, cosine, or tangent. And number four, just remember you have, if you know two out of the three angles of a triangle, you can find the third. All three add up to 180. So here's the first example. Give it a try. We're looking for x, y, and z. x is in missing angles, z is a missing angle, and y is the missing third side. Now, as I talk you through this, remember that we have lots of choices, okay? And of course, it'd be really nice to do the easiest things first. So, here's a couple of ideas. I notice that I have two out of the three sides, those are two legs of the right triangle, and I'm missing the hypotenuse, okay? Well, probably the first thing to do is to look for that uh, solve for y because that's the missing uh, third side. I can use Pythagorean theorem. Let's try that. So remember that that's the, um, the side we're looking for, the hypotenuse, equals one leg squared plus the other leg squared. All right, so that'll give me 1,600 squared uh, from 40 squared and three and... 30 squared is 900, and that gives me 2,500. And of course, if that's what y squared is, I take the square root and I get y equals 50. Ah, so for you that have done a lot of geometry before, you notice that this is a 3, 4, 5 type of right triangle. In this case, 30, 40, 50. All right, now that was the easy one. Okay, now we have some choices. If I'm looking for an angle, I'm going to use an inverse function. And let's focus on x. Now I have a couple of choices since I know all three sides. I can use the hypotenuse and either the adjacent leg and the opposite leg. So I could do inverse sine and cosine. Or I could work with the two legs themselves, the 30 and the 40. That would be an inverse tangent function. All right. so. Let's just go ahead and I think the easiest is to do um, the missing angle x is the inverse tangent. Remember we use the inverse function to find missing angles. And the tangent is opposite over adjacent. So from angle x opposite is 40, 30 is the adjacent, 40 over 30. All right, so that'll be the inverse tangent of 1.33333. And that'll give me my answer of about 53 degrees rounded. All right, so that's what x is going to be, 53 degrees. Now, again, we're looking for the easiest method. We could do the same for z, and we could use the inverse tangent of 30 over 40 because it would be opposite over adjacent from that angle. We could even use the hypotenuse here and do inverse sine or cosine. But let's go ahead and use the fact that all three angles add up to 180, and so we've got 90 and 53 and the mystery angle. So to solve for z, Instead of using a trig function or an inverse trig function, let's go ahead and use the angle sum theorem, which tells you that 180 degrees, take away these two angles added together, 90 and 53 would be 143. And this would be a really easy way to get the answer.
Okay, we don't have to mess with the trig functions or a calculator. So, what did you get? 37 degrees. All right, we have solved that right triangle using a combination of Pythagorean theorem, the angle sum theorem, and even some inverse functions. All right, there's lots of choices. Now, you try this example. Solving for x, y, and z, x is a missing leg, y is a missing angle, z is another missing angle. Give it a try, hit pause. All right, let's say I go for x first, although you don't have to go alphabetical. Um, I know the hypotenuse and one leg, and let's use Pythagorean theorem to find this other leg. Okay, now remember, it's the hypotenuse squared equals one leg squared plus the other leg squared. 3,600 equals x squared plus 1,296. We're going to subtract 1296 from each side. Which gives us 2304. We're going to take the square root of each side. Which gives us 48. X equals 48. 48 what? Well, it's a side, so it's units, and I don't have units labeled here, but that'll be 48. All right, we can solve for y, or we can solve for z. We do need all three, or we have all three sides. Let's go ahead and solve for y, and let's see what that would be. All right, and that's a missing angle, so you know it's an inverse function of some kind. And I could use the 36 and the 60, or I could use the 48, which is a leg I just found. I'm going to just go ahead and use the leg, 48. That's the adjacent leg to that angle. And if I have adjacent and opposite, that would be tangent. So inverse tangent of, remember what the tangent uh, ratio is, opposite over adjacent, so 36 over 60. Or sorry, 36 over 48. All right, divide that out and then take the inverse tangent of it. 36 divided by 48. Then we're going to do the inverse tangent. 36.86, let's go 36.9. 36.9 degrees. All right, 36.9. All right, now, of course, as in the previous example, I know this is a right angle, I know that angle, and I can subtract from 180 to get the missing angle. But let's go ahead and use these two um, sides of the triangle and go ahead and practice our trig functions here. So that angle there is um, the reference angle. This would be the hypotenuse to that angle, and this would be the adjacent leg to that. And so Z is going to be the inverse which function now? Adjacent and hypotenuse? That's cosine. So cosine minus 1, or inverse cosine, of 36 over 60. All right, cosine minus 1 of, let's divide that out. We've got 36 divided by 60. 0.6. Now we're going to do the inverse cosine of that. 53.1. 53.1 degrees. Now if I did this right, these two acute angles should add up to 90, right? 53.1 degrees. 53.1 plus 36.9, yes. We have now solved that triangle. All right, I appreciate you watching this video, and that's what it means to solve a right triangle. Look for the last video in this series, which is a self-quiz. Grab a piece of paper and a calculator, and I'll give you some problems to try.
All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.